What's up Titans, it's Curtis, and today I want to show you how you can take your existing Merch by Amazon designs and put them on covers for Kindle Direct Publishing. So rather that's journals, notebooks, blog books, or whatever it is, I'll show you a, a trick using the variable importer inside of Illustrator that I covered in a previous video to make that extremely fast. So for example, I have um, 18 birthday related designs here. They're really, really simple designs. And if you click it or look at the uh, dimensions, it's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So these were built for Merch by Amazon. And you can see it's just a very basic design. Now I wanna show you how you can take the variable importer and actually use it to import images right onto a journal cover, have them resized properly and all of that. And then batch the export process so you can save yourself a lot of time. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a six X nine inch journal um, template here for 110 pages. So I'm gonna create a new layer over here and I'm just gonna add a very generic background. I'll just go with the black background. Keep this really simple. All right, so now we have our background. The next step is to create a new layer and I want to drag and drop one of these images in here. So it links the image file. Let's do that. And you can see it's way too big. So I'm going to resize this. Obviously this is built for Merch by Amazon. And you can do this exactly how I'm doing it. Follow the same steps. And within no time you'll be able to get your own uh, journals up. So I'm gonna hide this for a minute so I can make sure that I get this positioned properly. All right, a little bit more over. Could go slightly bigger too. Okay, so now I have that positioned exactly where I want it. I'll zoom in a bit. You can see that when I link the other images that it's not gonna go over the gray areas on this template. So now I have a linked image and you can see it's in layer three. I wanna name this to basically link it up with my CSV spreadsheet that I'm gonna create for the variable importer. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna open up Excel, just a blank, a blank document. And there's two columns you're gonna want if you're using images. You can actually variable import text as well at the same time. But for now, I'm just gonna do image, so I'm gonna, or images, so I'm gonna name that images, or image, and then data set. And basically, column B, the data set one right here, this is what we're gonna export the name of these files as from Illustrator. So with that being said, I'm gonna come over to this folder and grab the file paths. Control A to select all, go to the first one and hold in um, shift and right click. Copy as path, and then come over here and put the file path in here. But with the variable importer script, you choose the folder, the folder that the uh, images are located in. So you don't need the entire file path. So what I'm going to do is copy this, everything but the name of the image. Select the entire column, go to find and replace. And uh, we're gonna put that in there, replace it with nothing. So there we have just the name of the images. Now that I have that, I want to name the data set the same thing, but I'll probably get rid of the PNG there, the .png. So I'm going to do the find and replace again, and it's gone. So now my spreadsheet is set up, but how the variable importer work or script works is to uh, tell it which column is an image column, you have to add an at sign right here. But as you can see, Excel doesn't let you do that. So what I'm going to do is just save this as a comma separated value sheet. Let's go CSV, level unlock data. I'll just save that on desktop for now. So now that that's done, I'm gonna exit this and I can go with CSV sheets, you can edit them in Notepad. So I'm gonna right click on it, go to edit, and you can see here, I'll just add the at, and then click Control S to save, and now we're good. So if I open that back up, you'll see that it has the at symbol here. So our spreadsheet's set up, we got our images that we wanna put on our journals, uh, we're ready to run the script now. So over here, as you can see, this needs to be, this um, linked image needs to be named the header inside of Excel. So I'll open that back up. See how it's at image, so it needs to be named image and lower lowercase and uppercase are important here. It has to be the exact same. So I'm gonna name that image. So that basically will link the variable, it tells the variable importer script that column A in my Excel spreadsheet is images 
and that this layer over here image is what it needs to be linked to. So I'm going to go run this script and you'll see the magic happens. So level unlocked, go to options always and assign the data set name which is column 2 or B. That way when we run the batch process to export these journal as PDF covers then uh, it has the proper names. And then now file paths, if you, see, you can see here it shows the images image column. So you got to go to file paths and tell the, the importer script where these images are located. And we go to journals level unlocked. And then you can click the show log button here. And as you can see, they're all there. It says it's found all 19 of them. So I can hit OK, import variables. And uh, I'll move this cycle out of the way. And then I'll cycle through it to make sure it's working properly. So as you can see, the three, the four, everything's changing. It's actually using the images. So if I had a ton of different images that look good on black backgrounds, or you could change that black background to a really good cover, you could use this uh, importer script to modify that and change things. I could even, if a variable, import the background too if I wanted. So there's no limit to how many different um, layers you can set as variables, variables connected to an Excel spreadsheet and then mask them out or swap them out. So now that that is done, you can see that it's working. Let me go show my variable importer window. Variables, where is it? Oh, here we go. I honestly don't know where that went. There it is. You see I can run through them and change it manually too. So now that we have everything linked properly, this image is perfectly positioned and I want these on journal so the next step for me is to go to this action panel and create a PDF save action for the cover so I'm gonna call this PDF save and once you hit record this action starts so now it's recording me so I just need to go save as um, change this to Adobe PDF save it to desktop you only need to do this one time to show the script how it works and I'm going to go with that and change this to 8 and then hit save PDF. Now that that, uh, bat, or that action is done, all I have to do is click stop here. And that PDF action is done. So the next step, let's just to make sure everything looks good, this is the file we saved. There you go, everything looks good. So the next step is to open this up and go run the batch action we just created. So I'm going to create a folder to save it into right inside here. Level unlocked covers. And now I'm going to batch it. Use this batch action, have it selected, come up here, run it as a batch. Choose, make sure on the, uh, the batch settings that you have the source set to data sets uh, and that the file name down here is data set name. And then choose the folder that you want to save this to. So that is going to be journal covers, level unlock covers. You want to do that on both of these. And now we're good. So I can, when I click OK, it's going to start exporting. It'll go back to two, and then it's going to run through all those automatically. So let's say you had a thousand merch designs that you were looking to add to journal covers. I just showed you a way that you can do that in less than 10, 15 minutes, and then batch the pro process and walk away from your computer and let it go through and save everything as a PDF. So if I come over here, you can see there's two and three so far, and it's going to run through that entire um, Excel spreadsheet. So if I click two, you see the journal cover is all set up. Click three. Everything looks good. So that is how you can use this variable importer script to simply take your existing Merch by Amazon designs and put them on journals. You can put them on notebooks. If you wanted, you could add another layer and turn it into a text variable and have that cycle out too. So really, you can set up one spreadsheet and have it go through, seriously, 10,000 plus if you wanted. So there's no limit to it, and it'll, it'll save you guys so much time. I highly recommend that you learn how to use this importer script because a lot of the tutorials I'm going to push out in the future uh, revolve around using this to save yourself a ton of time. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys have questions, I kind of rushed through this, uh, and I'm sorry about that. But if you have questions, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Um, we got more and more of these guides coming along. There's going to be some really cool stuff with masking in one of the future videos. 
that will show you how to use variable data and masking data or mask layers to basically mask scale a ton of images and add masking to them. So that's really, really cool. I've been experimenting with it lately and I will be sharing it with you all. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the group.